To perform a kit issue within WriteScan, first touch the kit issue icon. When the screen appears, scan or enter the job number you wish to issue, and WriteScan will check with SysPro to make sure that it's a current and valid job. When WriteScan finds that job within SysPro, you'll see the stock code and the description of the item to be manufactured listed as a blue hyperlink below the job number. WriteScan also defaults in the kit quantity for the job. You'll notice that WriteScan is displaying the total number of material allocations and that you can actually scroll through the list of allocations by touching the arrows either to the right or to the left to view and adjust individual allocations. When you're ready to kit issue the job, simply touch Post. And WriteScan will issue the specified quantities for all material allocations, and there's even an admin option to include standard labor as part of your kit issue. With WriteScan, it's also possible to issue something less than the full amount of the kit quantity. Let's enter another job. You'll notice again that the full kit quantity of 5 defaults in. This time, we're going to change that quantity to something less than the total. In this case, we'll enter 3. And you'll notice that WriteScan has gone through each of the material allocations and adjusted its quantity accordingly so that it is issuing for a full kit of 3 finished items. As before, simply touch the Post button when you're ready to issue, and WriteScan will issue all, in this case, all 5 allocations for that particular job. If we enter the same job number, You'll notice that the remaining quantity of 2 is listed for each of our material allocation lines. If we'd like to look at all of the material allocations for the job, simply touch the icon next to the job number, and a full listing of all of the material allocations will appear. If I scroll over, you can see that our full required quantity of 5, and we can see that 3 have already been issued for each of the items on this particular job. With WriteScan, kit issues can also be triggered automatically by a job receipt. If we touch the job receipt icon, we can enter in our job number, and the total remaining quantity to be manufactured for the job will default in. In this case, let's say we finished two of the finished items, put in the bin for our finished goods, touch the post button, and if job receipts is linked to kit issues, the kit issue screen will appear, and you'll notice that the quantity of two that we finished in job receipts has defaulted in appropriately as my kit quantity for all of my material allocations. Simply touch the post button, and WriteScan will issue all of the material allocation lines, as well as standard labor for those items if the labor issue option has been turned on in the WriteScan administration tool.